What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Ahsoka series, but before we do get into all of that, remember, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget, I have a membership program that I just did an update to, so make sure to join one of them as the tiers are simply amazing and I've updated them, so definitely go check them out so you get to get behind the scene footage and go live with me on my daily content. Go check out the merch store as I do have Eternal Sith merch that you definitely want to go check out. And as always, once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one give it a thumbs up as you watch let's start the show welcome to the show with the eternal self every visit banger best believe he don't mess do me a favor drop us up and keep tuning in if you like what you see go and share with your friends now we're gonna get into these characters that are definitely gonna be more important than Thrawn in just a bit, but let's check this out. Some of the best stories we know in Star Wars revolve around interpersonal conflict rather than defeating larger faceless villains. Now one of the reasons why The Empire Strikes Back is regarded so highly is because Luke Skywalker faced off with Darth Vader face to face, forced to confront a crushing blow to his soul. The same goes for Star Wars' Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith with Obi-Wan and Anakin's duel on Mustafar being compared compelling than the conclusion of the war because it was about the character's struggles. The same should go for Ahsoka. Even with Balin's skull and Shin Haiti are aligned with Thrawn, their face-to-face -face conflicts with Ahsoka and Sabine can personally be driven. Now, Grand Admiral Thrawn is known for playing the long game striking only when he has the information about his enemies necessary to defeat them. With Thrawn's return set to happen in the Ahsoka series, it's doubtful that his grand plan will be executed in the show right away. Thrawn is more militaristic and therefore wouldn't jump into a face-to-face -face battle with Ahsoka or any of her allies unless confronted. He is a master strategist, so while Thrawn will ultimately be defeated in a physical confrontation, few commanding officers stand a chance against him in a naval conflict. Now, series creator Dave Filoni is instead likely setting the stage for Grand Admiral Thrawn's proper return in his Mandalorian era film that's supposed to be coming sometime in 25 or 2026. Now, Balin and Shin would be perfect characters for either future seasons of The Mandalorian or Filoni's upcoming film. Now, Mandalorians and Jedi have rarely gotten along, and Balin and Shin being these dark Jedi characters presents a new and interesting angle to the long-standing feud. Assuming the character survives, Ahsoka, Balin would likely have to be written out or recast due to Ray Stevenson's death. If Balin and Shin continued down a dark path, they would be perfect to wage the war with the Mandalorians. Adding another layer to such a war is Bo-Katan as well, who would be leading her people into battle against these characters that she's often aligned herself with. Now, the key to destabilizing the New Republic is striking the shaky Mandalore. Now, a conflict the Mandalorian Season 4 can explore if Ahsoka culminates with Balin and Shin remaining dark. This is something that they can definitely explore in Season 4. As from just watching the trailer alone, it looks like that Star Wars has big plans for these two characters. Now, we do know that Ray Stevenson, you know, we know that he did pass away, but it does look promising for his character as they can always do deep fakes. I mean, we know the work that they've done with Luke Skywalker or Mark Hamill's Luke Skywalker. Walker. So there is still hope for Ray Stevenson to still be in Star Wars and maybe they have filmed other projects with him that we just don't know about that they can utilize for the future of either like I said season four of the Mandalorian or just overall a season two of the Ahsoka series or maybe even the skeleton crew. But I just feel like overall when it comes to Balin and Shin's characters like I said these are two characters that are set for promising and big things for the future of Star Wars. And I wouldn't be surprised if they're utilized in seasons four of The Mandalorian and five potentially and just the overall saga of The Mandalorian. But make sure to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and theories on this take. For more Star Wars content, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know as I'll have more content out tomorrow. Don't forget, I have a membership program. Definitely you want to join. There's three tiers. I just updated them and I will be going live behind 
behind the scenes. So make sure to join the membership program so you could check on the community post for members only, the live stream link for that. And I will be talking about everything Star Wars in more in-depth details. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Don't forget the Eternal Sith. Then, now, forever. Later, guys.